Hello everyone and how are things on your side? So in this video we will talk about the implicit intents, how, what can we do with the implicit intents. Well basically as I've told you before that if you want to call a functionality inside your app, for example if you want to open Google map inside your phone, so you can also create an extra activity for that and handle the functionality for that activity in order to open the Google map for you. So it will be a waste of time if you want to do so, while there are inbuilt app, I mean built-in apps in the Android, you can call those apps by using the implicit intent. So as you can see, I've created an activity and I'm going to scroll down so you can see each of those buttons correctly. Make sure that you pause the video and copy paste these tags as I've done before. Okay. My idea is that whenever the user click on the launch map button, so it's going to open up the Google map for you. So how can you do that? How can you open the Google maps inside your app? Okay, you can do that by using the implicit intent. First, let's handle the on click method. I mean handle the process, click alt enter. So it's going to create a method as the name of process and inside this process i must specify which button is clicked by using the view object i'm going to specify that so i'm going to use the switch statement you can also use the if else view dot get id okay it's going to return me the id of that button so i use the case if that id was equals to the btn launch map launch map so come down and open the map for me so the first thing you need to do that is specify the data that you want to work with. The data will be passed in the form of URI, okay? For launching the map, so I'm going to create a URI, URI map equals to URI dot parse, okay? So if you want to open Google map inside your phone, the first thing you need to specify is your data scheme, GEO, okay? And after that, pass the latitude and longitude. The first parameter is latitude and the second one is longitude. I've already taken my latitude and longitude from Google. So this is my latitude that I provided in here. And I separate them by comma and the next one is or longitude. Now I have my data, okay? This is called as data. As I've told you before, if you want to work with implicit intents, you have to deal with four things. The first one is data, action, category, and extra information that you want to deal with. So let's specify the action for it. You want to open the Google map in your phone by your app, okay? By your app, you can open another app, which is Google map. So I create an intent object in here, intent, intent, outside the class. So in here I say intent equals to new intent. In the constructor you must specify the action. I use the intent dot action. Which action you are dealing with? I'm dealing with viewing something. So I use action view. Okay. And the second parameter pass your data. I mean your I map. And that's it. And then call the start activity. And pass the intent object in here. Before starting the activity make sure that there is at least one app inside your android phone that can handle your implicit intent if there is no app inside your phone your app may crash and you will not be able to work with it you must specify if there is an app that can open your request or not so you can check that by if statement inside the if statement call the resolve activity and call the get package manager so it is the responsibility of package manager to search out through the whole android operating system which app is able to handle request okay if the intent resolve activity returns null it means no app is found inside your phone so you can say toast.maketext as the current activity no match is found if there is an app found then start the activity for me let's see and what happens as you can see i have already an app as the name of google map whenever i click on the launch map button so it's going to call this application and it will open up for you so i'm going to close it where's my app that's it okay whenever i click on the launch map button it's going to call the google map application inside your android phone if an app is available inside your phone it's going to open up that application for you and that app will handle your request let's see what happens as you can see there is an app inside your phone that can handle your request so i'm going to accept and continue so as of now i'm working with emulator i don't have any internet connection so make sure that you use it in real phone and see what happens when you pass these coordinates to your android phone 
although you can also pass your action by using some methods okay if you don't like to set your actions and data you can use the intent object and call the set action method and it is also the same intent dot action view and pass the data intent dot set data and pass the uri path it's completely up to you which way you prefer to handle your request so this is how you can work with implicit intents if you want to open the google map first specify the data and then action and then call the start activity and pass the intent object if there are multiple apps available inside your phone so the android will pick one automatically for you but i don't want to do this if there are multiple matches found in the android so it's going to tell me which app you want to open it you can do that by creating a chooser okay a chooser is nothing but it is a dialogue that will ask the user which application he wants to open it so I create a chooser which is of type intent and I in here I say chooser equals to intent.create chooser pass the current intent and pass its title which app you wanna open in okay and pass the chooser in here and let's start again and see what happens if there are multiple apps are available inside your phone which can open this coordinate for you it's going to shoot through a dialogue and allow the user to pick one and if there is only one app inside your phone so the android will automatically pick that one and will shoot the app for you as you can see there was only one app was available inside my phone and android automatically picks that one for me and if there were multiple apps available in my phone so a dialogue appear in here and allowed me to pick one in order to handle your request okay let's see how we can launch our market okay i mean let's see how we can open a play store app inside your phone so first i have to go to on the launch button and I have to handle it's a method process is already created so in here I say if the case was r.id.btn market okay so I will use the intent object equals to new intent and in here I set the action either you can specify it in the constructor you can also call the set action method intent dot action view okay again i use the action view in here because it, it is a generalized action in android if you don't know the type of action because there are a lot of actions if i show it to you okay there are a lot of actions inside the android but memorizing of them are very difficult for you it's not difficult but it is a little bit complicated but if you want to use the action but you don't know what action you have to use if you want to open another app you can also use the action view okay it is a generalized action the type of action will be specified based on the data you're passing to your intent okay so i pass the data that said data your action will be specified then based on the data that you're passing so i want to open the play store app so i use the data scheme as market okay and i put the colon and double double slash and write details question mark id equals and then the and the package name of your application okay if there is already an app in the play store that you have created to pass the package name in here if you want to open that and the next thing you need to specify the type of intent intent.set type again if you are using the uri the type of intent will be specified based on the data scheme that you are passing to intent and if you want to be more specific so you can use the set type if you want but i don't want to use the set type because i use the uri.parse because my intent type will be specified based on the data that i'm passing and again i use the chooser uh, so it asks me pick one up from the dialog pass the intent in here and pass the title open app store true and i check that if there is an app available inside my phone or not intent.resolve activity get package manager and if it was not equals to null then start that activity for me and i pass the chooser object and i say else copy and paste listen and see what happens you can see no match is found because i'm using the emulator and emulator doesn't have any play store so that can handle my request 
I don't need to do these okay I'm sorry about this I'm going to delete this because I'm using chooser if there is if there was no app available in my phone so it tells me that there is no such app that can handle your request okay let's see what happens if I use chooser okay as you can see there was no app found inside my um, app so my android system and it tells me no app can, can perform this action okay so this is the title of my dialogue open app store through this app okay which i have written in here this is the benefit of chooser there was no app available that can handle your request so it tells you otherwise it will list those app in here and allows the user to open or to pick one in order to handle his request so this is it for this video i hope you have understood something out of this video and in the next video we will see how we can send an email how to send message and call someone through the implicit intents and in the meantime if you guys do like what you watched make sure that you subscribe us and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below this video and don't forget to give us a thumb up if you like this video and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below this video and i will try to answer them asap make sure that you check my other video which will be very beneficial for you so i hope you have learned something and i'll see you in the next video have fun learning peace out